Well, let's imagine ourselves sitting on the plane up there in the sky and sitting very comfortably. Uh, some of us are reading, some of us are drinking, some uh, having a nap, uh, some play their um, computer games, uh, some simply think, uh, anticipate the pleasures or the chores uh, which we will meet them after the landing. But suddenly, uh, the news come in that the uh, uh, very pleasant information coming on uh, through the loudspeakers inside the cabin has been recorded quite a long time ago somewhere else. So there is no one actually speaking to you. And then you discover that the pilot cabin is empty and uh, the, that the automatic pilot probably leads you to some airport, but you learn as well that the airport in question uh, is still in the planning stage and or rather on the drawing board because the application hasn't been submitted yet to the proper authorities. It's a frightening uh, image really, but uh, it is roughly uh, in the nutshell, what our contemporary fears are like. They are fears of uh, nothing being in control, of first of all being ignorant of what is expecting us, not really knowing what will happen next moment. And secondly, even if we knew, we suspect that there's very little we can do about it and to stop the danger and to get out of the trouble. No one is in control. That is the major source of contemporary fear. The fears are scattered. The fears are diffused. We can't pinpoint the sources where from they are coming. They seem to be ubiquitous. They seem to apply as much our private life as the life in common, the social life. All sorts of things may happen. It could be a tsunami. It could be a uh, Hurricane uh, Katrina, it could be another earthquake, it could be sudden um, closing up of the factory in which you worked for 20 years, or uh, um, hostile merger between two offices and you are losing your job. Uh, it may be collapse of the um, stock uh, exchange and you're losing your old age pension and the savings you made for many, many years. Uh, it could be another terrorist attack, there could be sudden street riots and uh, striot and your shop is destroyed and burned, your car is stolen and, or burned, and so on. In other words, uh, in, in other words uh, it seems that we are living on a quicksand. Uh, every movement which we want to make to stabilize our position may have quite the opposite consequences, like in quicksands. You may you sink even deeper than before. And uh, be precisely because this uh, fear, contemporary fear, is so poorly located, I would say unpinpointable, that it is so frightening. Uh, the question is why it is so? Where from this feeling of uh, absence of control? We are not controlled, but not just that we are not in control. No one seems to be in control. Things uh, seem to be happening at random, surprising, taking you unprepared. The question is where from it comes. Well, I suggest to you that there is one uh, essential reason from which uh, other reasons are derivatives. This one uh, reason uh, is that uh, what I would call the separation and coming very close to divorce between power and politics. Power is the ability to have things done. And politics is the ability to decide which things are to be done. Now, both abilities, the power and the politics, were until quite recently, until less than uh, half a century ago, united in one place. That place was called uh, nation-state. Well, state government has both. 
It has, he has power and, uh, to do things and the politi political institutions to decide which things are to be done. There were, of course, political right, political left, as always, but all, both sides of the political spectrum agreed on one point, that if we win, if our concept of what is to be done uh, is on the top, then we know who will do it, because state has power to do it. It was never full truth, but anyway, it was a reasonable expectation that if politics is decided, then power is able to put it uh, in operation. It's no longer the case, because power has evaporated from the level of the nation state up there into the cyberspace, or as Manuel Castells call it, the space of flows. But uh, the uh, politics remained where it was for a number of centuries already, namely on the local level. It is still as local as before. There is nothing to control the power which liberated itself from political control and emigrated uh, into the uh, space of flows. Finances, capitals, uh, the uh, trade, information, uh, terrorism, criminality, weapon trade, uh, the uh, uh, drug traffic, everything, everything which uh, ignores the boundaries of national sovereignty, which ignores and is free to ignore and um, uh, get unpunished for doing that, um, uh, ignores the local customs, local preferences, the will of the population and so on, that is already global. But the powers which could eventually control them are still uh, local. And therefore, there is a big gap, growing hiatus, uh, between the ability to do things and ability to decide, to coerce the powerful agencies to do what needs to be done.